six. White's chief claim to fame is that he's the youngest player ever to make a century break in competition. He was only nine when he made one in the Neathan District League. A very natural and fluent potter and break builder, but perhaps uh, the rest of his game can't be said to be up to the same standard. Misjudged positional shot. It was a bit tricky. Leaves him out of position. Preferred the long blue to the safety, wants to get on with it, wants to capitalise on his main strength, his potting. Black must be on between the two reds. Wanted to leave this black a little straighter so that, so that it was easy to play for the red next to it. Still okay, had other options. But it looks as if he's got to go away from the black. If he had managed a few shots earlier to get on that red next to the black, he wouldn't be having a positional problem here. Although it wasn't that difficult to solve.
So after errors on both sides, this is the decisive break in the opening frame. We've lost sound from the referee's microphone, but I can tell you that uh, White's break has reached 86. So it's this simple blue for the hundred. And with that very well taken clearance of 113, Michael White leads Ben Wollaston by a frame to nil. Over on table one, Lee Hang, undefeated. Three out of three, he's won. He's in action against Ricky Walden. They're still in their opening frame. Lee Hang, 20 in front. Bit of distance involved, but I expected Lee to pop that. So back on our own table, this is frame two. Good pot, but has lost the cue ball. Yeah. Tried to get the cue ball on the ball cushion behind the brown, but didn't hit it quite right. Three snoopering possibilities with yellow, brown and green. It's not clear whether white can get the, between two of them.
most important. Wants to play this dead weight. Doesn't want the cue ball glancing off the row of three reds to leave one to right corner. Good pot, couldn't avoid cannoning a second red. Wollaston's safety was very short. It gave White an opportunity to play a better one, but he hasn't really done that. There's no problem here. Potentially a much more creative safety from White. I can tell you that on table one, Ricky Walden has won the opening frame against Lee Hang. Walden starting the day on one win from three matches, standing in fifth place in the group. Initial plant not too difficult. But that was a bad miss on the yellow. Wilson has an easy red starter to right corner, but how does he get position on the colour?
Wilson manages to pot a more difficult red. Now he's the brown cuttable. very unkind run of the ball. The odds were very much in his favour that he would finish on a red even though he didn't know precisely where the cue ball was going. All that he was left with in the end was a, a difficult red to middle. We see those potted so often by these players that we tend to think they're easy, but they're certainly not. Well, I said earlier that it was going to be difficult to get position from that red and white certainly hasn't. Yes, forced into error there. Very untidy looking table at the moment. Pink and yellow, not much use to either player at present. Thin cut to right middle or cut back to left corner or straightish red to left middle. That was obviously the best choice. Dead straight pot.
the left hand red of the two to middle is a bit on the straight side well it was straighter than that well I clearly thought it might be difficult to get black ball position but it didn't seem all that difficult a great run of the ball again That's all he could do. Leave white with awkward queuing. I don't think white could get to the center of the cue ball, so that wasn't a potting attempt. Look where the cue ball finished. Well again, not the kindest run of the ball for Wollaston. This red flicking off another one and leaving what should have been a relatively easy opening pot. Although let's never minimise the tightness of these middle pockets, particularly from narrow angles. No excuse for that though, Wollaston is really struggling. I can tell you that uh, Lee Hang has levelled his match with uh, Ricky Walden at one all. The last time I looked he was in play with a break of 70 plus. Forty in front. So red and a black would leave Wollaston needing two snookers.
Oh dear, oh dear, that was frame ball. So easy. Maybe he allowed the significance of the shot to distract him. But he still shouldn't have missed it. Wollaston concedes in disgust after missing that simple black. So White got away with his mistake and now leads by two frames to nil. White ranked 27th, although he has been briefly in the top 16 versus Wollaston ranked 33rd. Wollaston's normal standard, to judge by the last few years, appears to be just inside or just outside the top 32. Well, Fine. gave the bunch a very firm tap, but Could have been a lot better. What a day Wollaston's having.
promising chance this early as it is in the third frame this is a chance to win 3-0 which would provide White for his first win in four matches and certainly help his frames count back. Over the line, barring two snookers. In terms of making the century, wanted to come back a little bit further for black. White made a break of 113 in the opening frame, so this is a chance to bookend a 3-0 win with a century in this frame. No reason why he shouldn't do it.
So that's the century, 102. Nothing's gone right for Ben Wollaston in this match. But on top of that, he's made quite a few mistakes. White's two centuries have shown what a fluent potter and brake builder he can be. 